As we speak now, once working capital of 640,000 Ghana cities, which could buy $100,000 at the beginning of this year, can now buy 64,000 United States dollars. Only. President of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Dr. Joseph Obin, lamenting the increased cost of trading as a result of the depreciating city. The union is calling on government to take urgent steps to stop the further fall of the city to the dollar. We do not subscribe to the notion that the situation has gotten out of hand. We should not, therefore, throw our hands in despair and put the economy in autopilot. We can definitely do something, given the human resources in the country. Dr. Obey also backed calls to fix the rate of the Ghana city to the dollar. Alternatively, he wants government to consider making the Chinese yuan the official trading currency for imports to reduce the demand on the U.S. dollar. As a bulk of our import comes from China, we have suggested on several occasions that we better use the yuan as an alternative to ease the pressure on the United States dollar, as has been done by other nations in the world, such as Zimbabwe. The Bank of Ghana should monitor and enforce its regulations to strictly control trading with the dollar on the local market, as well as the activities of the black market. By the details of the trading community, yes. we declare yes. we declare closure of shops yes. in Accra on Monday, 29th August. Yes. Meanwhile, the Vehicle and Asset Dealers Association are demanding a freeze on the planned implementation of a 35% tax on imported vehicles. Here is the national chair of the association, Bernard Intraqua. And if you are to import 0 to 5 and you are going to add additional 35%, it means that you are asking us to, close, to, down. to close down our business. By indirect, you cannot say, directly you cannot say it, but you are you indirect, you are telling us to close down our businesses. No, we are asking the government to scrap it, to scrap it totally. We are asking the government to scrap, to scrap it totally because uh, already it's going to collapse our business. We already, he has already reversed the, the benchmark and the dollar rate is going high. And then you are adding another 35% to our business. I mean, my brother, it's a very serious issue that government needs to sit down with us and then deliberate before he can take that decision of implementation. The Food and Beverages Association have also added their voice to the demands. General Secretary Samuel Agri says they will be forced to lay down their tools if government fails to stop the city from further depreciation. The Ghana here are suffering. Our industries are suffering. Individuals are suffering. Employees are also suffering. Our city has been locked and the key given to the IGP. We don't know whether when the IGP before the end left, he released the city to depreciate in this way. Whoever said this must bow down his head in shame, and by now he should tender in his resignation and leave government. And we cannot continue as businesses and importers. Whatever that decision that is taken today, we are going to go by it. And I will send a warning that we shouldn't get to that point where industries and importers and retailers would then have to lay down their tools because the situation is so bad. We want a direction. Who is leading this country must give us a direction to reverse all these things. Guta and its affiliate associations want government to, as a matter of urgency, call a meeting with all stakeholders to discuss measures to halt the further fall of the city. For Joy News, Michael Ashali.